Hi guys and welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. So this week's What's for Dinner is a mishmash of the past number of dinners I've had over the couple of months. Um, it's been crazy. If you've been following my social media for a while, you will know that life has been insane and chaotic and kind of hard. So um, these are kind of all the stuff that we've been making and having. Um, this night we actually had a my best friend's birthday dinner. We went over to her house and had a big dinner party and it was amazing and she made this like homemade bourbon, pecan, chocolate pie, and it was great. And I made a artichoke dip, and I wanted to share it with you because I think it's perfect for the holidays. I will have, of course, all the recipes that I have linked below. But basically, you're just gonna wanna dice up your onion and then pop it in with um, in your pressure uh, pressure cooker. So I took cream cheese, some sour cream. Um, of course, I'm doing this one-handed with my phone, so please excuse the shakiness. I then take um, a whole can of artichoke hearts and a, a big chunk, I think it was a most of a bag of frozen spinach. I then add some chicken broth, a good heaping spoonful of garlic, some pepper, some salt, and I pop that um, on the lid on it and only pressure cook it for four minutes. Um, and then after the four minutes are up, I stir it all together, add my Parmesan cheese, my mozzarella cheese, and call it a day. It was super, super yummy, really creamy, really cheesy. Next time, I think I'll add up a little bit more in the seasoning and use more Parmesan than the mozzarella, but other than that, it was amazing. And this was our whole dinner. We had pot roast with carrots and onions, gravy, Brussels sprouts, rolls, um, my dip, everything. It was super, super yummy, and it was so nice just to have like a really warm, comforting meal with friends. Um, I ate way too much, and I'm about to show you the desserts, which were also outstanding, but this just made me think of Thanksgiving, and it just brings me lots of warm fuzzies. It was a really, really great night, um, and we also had that pie, as well as one of our friends made homemade scones, and they were a crazy delicious. They were the best scones I've ever had, along with some gelato. It was insane. Um, this night, I made some egg roll in a bowl. I've made it a couple times on my channel and this is actually the recipe from Home Chef. So I bought all the ingredients but Home Chef does have those recipes online or if you they'll send them to you if you get the box and stuff like that. This is by far the best recipe. I've made this so many times of trying different recipes and this is the best. So I got all of my ingredients at Kroger. The only thing that was different was the sweet like Thai peanut sauce. Um, I would try to get like a duplicate sauce from like the Asian food store of the actual sauce that the Home Chef one uses, but this one still tasted amazing. Basically, I'm just um, terribly trying to cut up the ground pork and I'm sauteing that up. Of course, you can use any meat that you want um, or you could go meatless and just do veggies or do like tofu crumbles, what have you, whatever you want. We just use ground pork because that's what the recipe calls for. And then I'm taking a bell pepper and slicing it up into strips. And after I took out the pork, I just popped the bell pepper right in with the pork little lovely bits and grease that just give it more flavor. Um, and saute that up with some garlic until it got soft. Then I'm just adding the pork right back in to the vegetables. Like I said, you can see that there's some grease. If you want to make it lighter, you go right ahead. Um, I'm then taking a package of pre-made or pre-mixed slaw mix um, with some shredded carrots and tossing that together. Next time I think I'd add a little extra carrots because I really like the carrots and the crunchiness to it, um, but this was still amazing. I mean, it's easy and convenient. Then I'm taking the seasoned rice rind vinegar. I ended up using a couple um, of those little cups multiple times just to kind of add more acidity to it. Um, and then I'm using that peanut sauce and I mixed it all together, and then I'm using my crispy noodles on top. Guys, this is a hit. Every time I make it, whoever I make it for loves it. It's really yummy, it's comforting, it's warm for the cold days and cooling for the hot days. It's crazy, I love it. I highly recommend you making it. And it's really inexpensive, I just, I love it. I don't know what else to say, it's delicious. You should make it. I'm spicing mine up with some red pepper flakes on top, but you don't have to do that if you don't like heat, otherwise, total winner. This night my brother made some tortilla soup because it was getting really cold out. 
um, here in Texas, which is kind of a shocker. And I will have the whole recipe linked down below, but basically there's just tomatoes and beans and corn and chicken and sour cream and a tortilla soup mix that you can easily get at the store and put it all together in a slow cooker and call it a day. We then topped it up with some cheese and a little bit more sour cream. I also added some of the Tabasco chipotle sauce. I love that stuff. I added it into everything and it just gave it like a heat with a little bit of a chipotle flavor. So delicious. You can crush up tortilla chips if you like in it. I just had it as is super comforting super warm of course like i said i will have the recipe linked down below this night my mom made some french toast um you guys have asked before what my mom's french toast recipe is this is the best french toast you will ever eat in your life let me tell you um this recipe it was from the 1970s i will show you where it's actually from my mom has had a card she got before she got married to my dad and she just kept them and this is the recipe pause right here take it in read it make it instead of the grand mariner mariner she always does use orange juice but guys literally the best recipe and use like french bread that's nice and thick and it is delicious and amazing you will not be sorry you have to make this but you guys have asked me many times when i've had french toast on my channel what the recipe is and it is that next this night i made homemade potato soup if you're wondering why we've been at my mom's it's because my dad's passed away and i've been we've just been trying to help out and cook as much as possible so that's why it's kind of like all over the place and we haven't we don't have any videos from my own kitchen because i have actually haven't cooked here since he's passed away anyway i'm just taking five potatoes popping them in the oven um i'm then taking a sweet onion and dicing that all up i definitely recommend to boil the potatoes i think the oven just made it a complete disaster i it was frustrating as heck then um i did take about four slices of thick cut bacon and chop them all up you can have more bacon or less bacon or no bacon just depending on how you have it but this is technically loaded baked potato soup i then sauteed up and browned up the bacon once again i will have this recipe linked down below it was amazing for baked potato soup like fantastic i left all the grease in so this is not a healthy recipe i left all that grease in and all the little brown delicious bits took out the bacon and added my onion sauteed my onion lovely camera work for my husband <laughs> sauteed my onion once it got translucent i then added um some garlic and some flour and essentially created a roux to help thicken up the soup later so i then mixed it uh, just enough for all of everything to thicken up, but I didn't want it to brown up and burn. So I just thickened it all up, stirred it, and then I added my half and half. Now, I added more half and half than chicken stock to make it more creamy, but if you want to keep it lighter, you can add more chicken stock than half and half, or you can omit one. But let me tell you, half and half is the way to go, my friends. Or you can use non-fat milk, what have you, if you don't want to use milk. You do what you want. Totally easily to modify, but I tell you half and half, super delicious in it. So I just added that on in. And then once again, my lovely camera work. Um, then I added in my chicken stock and I popped it in there and I brought everything up to a simmer and let it just continually thicken on its own, which it totally did. Stirred it on up. Now, like I said, the potatoes were called to be put in the oven and then you were supposed to scoop out the potatoes and it was supposed to be super easy. The recipe... It called for the potatoes to be at like a really low temperature let me tell you just skin them and bake or boil them and then just kind of mash them up i feel like that's really the way to go what i will go with last next time next i added a bunch of cheese i mixed it all together and this was amazing um you then just can top it with a little bit more cheese and some bacon and it was delicious i had my favorite salad which is the sweet kale salad on the side with a roll that bowl looks really big big with the soup it's actually pretty small and it was so comforting and so filling and amazing for the cold weather that has been approaching us lately but that'll be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it if you haven't already please follow me on instagram at sarah england and subscribe i love you guys thank you again and i'll see you guys all in my next what's for dinner bye guys